Hey, folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. This video for Tuesday, May 29th, 2012, is sponsored by by real tick all right guys right into the mix today the markets are trending higher although we are off significantly the highs of the day and take a look at the charts here and you can see exactly what i'm talking about we had a nice gap up today and a good surge to the upside going right into my key master level at 133.90 that was a good scalp level called in the intraday stock chat and look at the fall off of that level dramatic collapse as the dollar caught a major bid and then as the dollar again rose sharply the markets came in since we made a little bit of a bottom here on the markets what do you think the dollar's done obviously the dollar has begun to slowly decrease and that has brought the markets back up just a little bit but we're playing with gains right now i mean either way even when we fell off the highs of the day we're still up about a dollar on the spy dow is trading up 87 points nasdaq is trading up 23 s p's up about 10 basically three quarters of one percent across the board all right so that's what we're seeing here on the markets as i scan through and again we're continuing to see the rally that i called for it's a it's a intraday kind of intra cycle rally which means it's inverse to the general trend of the markets which is down right now but we are seeing a nice little float to the upside over the last week session and starting now this week as well my gut tells me it continues until at least friday when we get the jobs number out it may even continue slightly into next week as well the spy does not have a lot of upside left to it though i just want to be make clear on that Right now, you're looking at two to three more points max on the upside before the whole entire uh, contra bounce in this market is complete. All right, guys, and again, only two to three more points, and we're already up a dollar today. So, I mean, you're just talking, you know, a small amount left, basically another two to two and a half percent, in my opinion, before we start to collapse back down again. All right, taking a look again at the charts here, you have a little bit of a hold of the 50 moving average and the pink trend line. Pink trend line matches the pivot high from Friday. That's why that support level is right there. If I zoom out a little bit, you can see it actually matches the support line from Thursday as well. A very significant level. The markets came right into that, which is also the 50 moving average just below, and that's where you got your bounce. Okay? looking at uh, some other keys on the intraday basis and again it's just amazing to look at the charts and see how well the levels have performed today we obviously gapped up right into this white level surged up into this level and then pulled back into this area right here you're basically playing ping pong with the levels that i give my members here at inthemoneystocks.com and by the way there's a seven day free trial here at inthemoneystocks.com swing traders and investors go towards the uh, research center while day traders obviously go to the seven day free trial at the intraday stock chat. All right. Now, the big question for the remainder of the day is has the dollar topped? And this is actually a question we must ask going into the further upside or downside of the markets in the next few days. And this will determine, obviously, whether we go up or down. And let me just show you this on the dollar. If we flip over to the UUP chart and go to the daily chart of this, this is the dollar ETF, you can clearly see we have just made a double top today. So again, here's your pivot high from January. Here's your pivot high today. That is a clear-cut double top. Remember, the markets move inverse to the dollar. So if this is a chart of the dollar and the dollar's into resistance and likely to pull back, it tells us that there could still be a little bit of upside left in the markets prior to the next wave of selling to the downside. All right, any sort of pullback on the dollar, my guess is this is going to be a major support level right here. This little pivot high, you probably would pull back to that level, which on the UUP is 22.60. I repeat, 22.60. Taking a look at the SPY on the daily chart, again, you can see we've had a little bit of a bounce, which has been a positive divergence. I talked about this in last week's free videos that you guys have watched, and it's very important to note this because this is what was also telling us as the dollar was going higher and the markets weren't collapsing further, that there would be a little bit of a bounce in this market over the holiday break on either side of it, which is exactly what we're getting. All right, things in Europe continue to be ugly, there's no doubt about it, but you're seeing a little bit of relief rally off of some possibility of good news out of Greece. And then obviously we have to be watching Spain and Portugal, Spain and Portugal, and even Italy to some extent are on high alert right now in terms of their yields and their borrowing costs just continuing to go higher. All right. Uh, looking at a couple key stocks, Facebook continues to get crushed here, down another $3.10 today. I mean, look at this chart here today, folks. Absolutely getting pummeled. I will say, though, that I am getting semi-interested in this stock as it continues to fall. I'll be watching it tomorrow. If I see a great swing trade develop, I will put it out as a swing trade alert for my members inside the Research Center. 
All right, and again, there's a seven-day free trial for that. So if you want to get these alerts, these swing trade alerts, they're there for the taking. You just have to sign up, obviously. Um, a couple of the plays that we continue to hold are in the money nicely. And again, JPM is doing well for us, as is Las Vegas Sands. We've already unloaded half of LVS for a huge profit and now holding the second half for an even bigger profit. And again, it's just about a matter of being on the right side of the market. I'm neither a bull nor a bear. No one here at In The Money Stocks is a bull or a bear. We just look at the charts, decide where they're going to go based on our proprietary method methodology, which we will teach you, and then position ourselves accordingly. And that's why we made money on the way down off of our cycle call, cycle top call, and then just before this bounce occurred over the last week, we positioned ourselves long and made some great money on the long side as well in stocks like GG and LVS and a couple other ones out there as well. All right, so it's just about, again, reading the charts correctly. That's what it's all about. Okay, so that's Facebook, and again, Facebook absolutely ugly, but I do actually... I do think Facebook is beginning to get attractive to me. It really is, actually. Uh, possible little bottoming tail here, although it's not good enough for me to, to liken it for a play right now, but nonetheless, could have a little bit of a bottoming tail right there on the FB intraday 10-minute chart. A couple other things to go over. Let's take a look at some of the bigger movers today. How's Apple doing? Apple's having a good day up $8. That's a nice, solid move on Apple. It popped a little bit more midday or so, early more, late morning, and then came back in, but now it's floating back up as the markets have gotten a little bit of a bid as well. J.P. Morgan is just a flat on the day. The stock opened sharply higher and then came back in. Uh, J.P.M. is continuing to have kind of this worry about it because of the trading losses. I don't think investors are clear yet on what the trading loss is. I don't even know if JPM is clear on how much it is. And I think that's why you're seeing uh, this stock be a little bit weaker than some of the other financials. Bank of America, for instance, is having a pretty decent day up 16, 15 cents for a $7 stock. That's actually pretty solid. Uh, even Goldman Sachs is trading up 57 cents, which is not a huge day there, but it's doing better than JPM. And again, I, I continue to believe that the problem with JPM is that overhang of a loss via trading, which we obviously heard was $2 billion plus, but there's been no specific number given to relax investors and say, okay, we know a finality number here, a final number. Now we can get back into the stock. Okay? So that's what you're seeing there. If we did get a number, even if it was in the range of $5 billion, I still think you'd see a, re uh, a relief rally on JPM off of these this dramatic drop here, absolutely dramatic drop on JPM. Looking at a couple other stocks, Chevron is having a very decent day here, although it was up sizably more. Uh, you can see this gap fill right here, and this was a beautiful area I gave to my members. Look at this, that area, gap fill, pivot low right there. Look at the stock last week, bottoming tail right through there, and then has had a nice bounce off of it. Chevron is trading up 77 cents on the day. Taking a quick look at uh, GLD, which is gold's ETF. GLD is getting hammered again today, so we're seeing gold continue to be very volatile. There's no, really no trade here. I gave a good trade on this at this double bottom pierce uh, last week. Uh, well, actually, it was about a couple weeks ago, and you got a bounce. That was, the, that was it. I mean, you just got a quick uh, contra direction bounce right there. Came back down, and ever since then, it's just been choppy. I don't really like anything about that right now at all. All right, taking a look at SLV. Silver's ETF, just continuing to chop around this trend line. Look at this trend line here, folks. This is a trend line that's very, very important, and you're now hovering just below it, consolidating. I think ultimately gold and silver are going to go much, much lower, but in the short term, I wouldn't be surprised to see a bounce based on the market bouncing as well. USO, oil. Oil continues to be hovering here around the flat line today. This is a major support resistance area right here. Any sort of fall takes you down into this area, which is your next big level. That would be your next level of support around the 33 and a quarter level. Uh, right now, I'm neither long nor short oil, as I just don't think there's a good enough reason to be either way on that position. If it dips again and collapses down into this 33-ish area, yeah, I consider a long play on an oversold chart of oil. But until then, I don't see the reason to put yourself at risk. Remember, folks, In the Money Stocks has a methodology that will put you in the right direction of any trade based on our analysis. It'll tell you, is it a buy, is it a short, or is it a neutral? So long, short, or neutral. And based on that, when you get a buy or a shorting call, you will literally get odds in your favor 80 to 90% of the time that you'll be making money if you do the analysis correctly, which we teach you. So therefore... When I say it's a neutral or there's no play there, it's because the odds don't favor it enough. And I mean enough like 9 out of 10 times you want to be winning that trade. Okay? All right, so just keep that in mind, guys. Scanning through, let me just see if there's anything else to go over. Let's go back to this SPY chart here on an intraday basis. We'll flip over to the intraday. Uh, looks like the markets, again, are just chopping here. Volume, again, very, very light. We just crossed $100 million at $106 million right now on the SPY, and that's because it's a post-holiday session. I mean, it's very, very light today. 
on that note, folks, I think I'm going to bid you all farewell and head off here. Um, I got to get back to trading with my members in the intraday stock chat. But again, we encourage you to take the seven day free trial to the uh, research center and the seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat. Join the elite pros, learn how to do this. We will teach you it. We will give you swing trade alerts. We'll give you all the tools needed to become one of the best swing traders, investors, day traders in the entire world. Take care.